Hey, this is Pete from NicheSpin.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at building our first newsstand application. Now, to begin with, what you can see on the screen is the homepage of SeattleClowns.com. And this is the website I think you should go to first of all, because you can register at their site, start building applications completely free of charge. All you need to do is click on the Start Now button, key in a few details, and you don't even need to um, authorize your email address. You can just start building apps as soon as you click the Submit button. Now, I'm already logged in, so I'm going to go to my applications. And you can see just by this screen that you can build iPhone, iPad, Android, and Kindle apps. What we're going to focus on is iPad, but this will give you an idea of just how extensive the tool set is at Seattle Clouds for publishing applications to all these different platforms. Now, first thing we need to do is create an app, and we're going to use a template that Seattle Clouds give us. So I'm going to click the button, create new app, and then you get presented with lots and lots of different templates. If I scroll down, you can see we get um, something, what's that, four per page, but then there's 12 pages of templates. Now, this is great if you're designing, you know, apps for businesses and things like that, like Pizzeria. Uh, but we want a new stand app and there are a few uh, templates we could use. I'm just going to try find one. Here we go. Here's an iPad newspaper. So a similar type thing. If I click on it, you can see we have a standard iPad stroke iPhone bar at the bottom and this bar al along the top. I don't want that in this app. So I'm going to choose a different template. So let me click away from that. I'll scroll down. We don't want that one. What I'm going for is a real basic template where it's completely empty. I don't want any headers, any footers, anything like that. Come on, come on, come on. This is the one I want, blank iPad template. So I'm going to choose this and you can see just by looking at it, there's nothing on the screen. It's just a basic HTML page underneath. So I'll choose select and just by clicking that button, the system's automatically uh, sort of generated a default preview for us. And if this is what we want, we just click use this template. We'll give it a name and let's call this um, My Mag one. Don't forget, this is just a uh, a demo that I'm doing. This isn't going to be the application that I submit to Apple. Um, I will give it a decent name once I've figured out what the magazine is going to be. But here we go, My Mag one. You can see we now have. Let me zoom out so you can see it all on one screen. We have like an iPad template. We have the options here where we can spin the iPad on its side. So you can see what the application sort of looks like when the device is rotated. And then down the right hand side, you can see we've got these various properties, which we'll start going through. Now, on the page that it gives us from the template, you can see we've got a couple of links here, HTML page example and native page example. I can click on these and it'll refresh, very basic page. The example they've given is just how to place a back button on the screen. And then native page, this is one of their standard page templates that's, um, I guess it's titled Mosaic Title. And you can click and see the pictures. I don't want any of this stuff. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, is introduce you to the resource button. And what this does is brings up this window and shows you all the files that your application will be using. And you can see we've got a number of files already included in the app. You can see you've got these mosaic pictures, which I guess one of these is the background that you see on the iPad now. I don't want this stuff. So I'm just gonna delete all the files we don't need. So background repeat, I don't know what that is. If you click on it, you, oh, there we go. It's that basic front page. I'll remove that though. Um, big icon, 
I guess that's an icon for the actual app. I'll leave that for now. That seems to be some sort of loading page. I've had PNG. These ASHX files, I'm just going to leave them. I'm not exactly sure what they're for, but there's something to do with building the app, I think, how it's all configured behind the scenes. HTML page example, I want to delete that one. I'll leave these icons. I'll leave index because that's the first page we see. And then I'm going to delete these things. Uh, I'll leave that one. Get rid of that. I don't need an RSS reader. Um, I'm going to create my own style sheet, but I'll leave that for now. And then I'm just going to click delete. And there we have it. Our application now just consists of these files. Of which I'm probably, oh, one didn't get deleted. Of which I'm probably going to be deleting some of these as well, because we'll be creating our own brand new. So I'll click done, and then let's see. Go back to the top. I'm going to click up here on the my mag dashboard link again. Go back to the home page. And then these links shouldn't work. So if I go to HTML page, yeah, there's no file there because I've deleted it. So what we can do is let's tidy up this home page. We we'll choose edit. And now we're in edit mode. It allows us, uh, I don't know if you can see this. Let me just uh, change things a little bit on my screen. Let me see if I can move it around here we go we've got add remove edit pages edit pages tab icons and change background and I guess the, uh, the screen's just a bit too big to fit in one go so I'll try and move things around if I can so what I'm gonna do is edit this page I'll stop waffling and get on with it <laughs> so I'm gonna choose edit oops let me bring this over so you can see I'll choose edit and now we're in edit mode. If I move to the left, you can see we have this big toolbox here. And this allows us to drag and drop elements onto our page and configure them in a nice um, sort of GUI style. So if I click, let's say, um, an image button, it's going to say, what do you want to include? I'll just choose any image for now. Oops, I did that wrong. I do apologize. For some reason, it's not showing. Let's go straight to the HTML and I'll come back to this toolbox in a little while. So I'm going to click on the HTML option up here and you can see this is how the page is made up. Now, one thing for those of you that know about HTML, you don't see the header. And you don't see the footer you only see the what's inside the body tags of html so all i'm going to do i mean you can do this on the design page oh look <laughs> the image was inserted i don't know if you can tell we do have the image there it's just um let's see if i can there it is that's what was inserted it's just actually it was a really bad image because you can't see it on the background let me delete that thing <laughs> there we go Let's take off these links. So all you need to do, drag over the elements and you can press delete. And that'll remove them from the screen. Or my preferred method, I don't know why, I've just got into the habit. I just go into the HTML and delete it there. So then we have this heading at the top. Let's just say my magazine. We're just going to say it's the index HTML, just as a reminder for us. Okay, move the camera over. I'll click save. Now the um, the page is saved. We can come back out by saying done, and there we can see how the page looks. If we do done again, we're going to go back to our dashboard where we can access other elements of this system to configure the app. But that's it. We've just edited the first page of an application. 
Now this is, um, it looks garbage because I don't want this background. So what I'm going to do is if I can't remove it, oh yeah, here we go. Because we can't get to the header HTML, I can't actually get rid of this image. So what I'm going to do is go back to the resource box and show you what I prefer to do. And this is download the whole application onto my local machine. Now this is something that then gives you the flexibility to edit the complete HTML document. So you get the headers and footers and everything. And once you're done with it, you can upload it back to the Seattle Cloud server and see it on the screen. So let's do that. I'm gonna click download and it's just come off the screen. Just give me one second. Okay, I'll drag this in. And here you can see we've got this zip file that was downloaded to our machine. And I'm going to uncompress it. And there we have this folder that it's created. I'm just going to edit the folder. Um, and we'll call it my mag one, just so I know what I'm working with. And you can see we have the list of files here that it's downloaded and they compare nicely with what's in the um, application on the Seattle Cloud servers. So what we can do now is edit the index HTML document directly on our machine. And you can see we now get access to the header and anything below the body. Let's give, a, give it a title for us. I mean, we no need to change this, but I'm, I'm going to change it anyway. MyMag1, I'll leave that and that and that. It's referencing the style sheet that the system created for us, but in a little while we'll go through how to create our own style sheet so we can make our mag look completely different to what we've got. Okay, this is uh, a very similar diagram to what I drew in the last video. But it's basically showing the, this is where I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> it's basically showing the magazine layout that we're going to, uh, going to create. There we go. So we're gonna do a header, the latest issue of the magazine on the left hand side, some text, subscribe and view buttons, and then show all the previous issues of the magazine. That's what we're going to recreate for the first page of our application. So let's stop this video. I'll do a new one where we get going with creating this first screen offline on our own PC. And then we can upload it to see how it looks on the Seattle Clouds website and also working on my iPad.